National Gallery of Singapore, considered to house the largest public collection of modern art in Southeast Asia. I lost count on how many times I visited this museum, but since I'm Koripot, I mostly drop by when it's free. As a disclaimer, I don't want to pretend like I know a lot about arts, but I love going to the museum. It's a great place to spend a day, free from the noise and nonsense of the outside world. And since we're leaving Singapore, for one last time, we'll roam the galleries in this huge building for art appreciation. This building itself is a work of art. It was used to be a city hall and supreme court and since then has been restored and transformed into this stunning place of architecture. Alright, let's not waste time and let's get started. I think every year, bumibisita kami dito. And just when I thought I saw everything, I was hyped up to meet Temi. Perhaps in an intent of becoming a smart museum, an autonomous robot guide named Temi was introduced. Temi offers visitors an on-demand guided audio tour as it stops in front of various artworks and share detailed information about the piece. Currently, Temi is only available at DBS Singapore Gallery. And I think the guided tool took us 20 minutes. having moved to Jakarta as a young man and worked primarily with oil paintings. We have a tropical climate. This gives the viewer a visual hint about his background. Work is Liu Kang's artist and model. In this large work, Liu Kang depicts a painter in the process
In this painting, Liu Kang offers a view of the process of creating a painting. It depicts... Walker's impact on his students was huge. One of his mentees was Lim Ching Ho, who went on to become a leading watercolorist. During the Japanese occupation of Singapore, Born in Latvia, Dora Gordy is known for her portrait peacefully upon strong arms, exuding calm and tranquility. This brings our tour of people and portraits to an end. The gallery is mostly Southeast Asian art, so great if that is your interest. And as I mentioned earlier, I've been here quite a few times and I love seeing this place. But to be honest, there aren't many exciting art exhibitions lately. I think maybe due to COVID situation. Nevertheless, it was very relaxing to wander around this beautiful building. That's it for today and see you again on the next episode. Peace!